Welcome to St Mary's for our Midnight Communion Service for Christmas 2020. It's been a hugely strange year and it is so sad that we can't be together in church for this very special service. Earlier on Christmas Eve in St Mary's and tomorrow morning on Christmas Day, there will be services for smaller groups, but we won't be able to sing together. So tonight, this service, our Midnight Communion, is on Facebook and will include carols sung by our choir, played by Peter. Wherever you are and however you are, please join in as much as you can and be with us for this celebration of Christmas. Let's begin by singing our first hymn this evening, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to and whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the words of the angel to Joseph, 
You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Therefore let us seek the forgiveness of God through Jesus, the Saviour of the world. You were born for our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came as Saviour to bring wholeness and peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You come to bring light into the darkness of our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us, who have known the revelation of that light on earth, to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second Carol this evening is O Little Town of Bethlehem. <laughs>
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Do sit down. Do sit down if you want to. You may be sitting already. Now you may have wondered, some of you, who this rather strange person is standing next to me. And uh, unless you've seen us on Facebook do, doing a, a, a double act before. Well, this is Andrew. He's my other half. And he's... Um, Vicar at Venner will be with it. So that's where you will be, Andrew, tomorrow morning on Christmas Day. That's correct. So, Andrew, tomorrow morning, Christmas Day, what will you be saying to the people who come to Venner will be tomorrow? Goggle box. Oh! <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that's going to be my starting point. It's a TV programme which I've not watched. Perhaps some of you have. Yes. And I hope some of you have seen it. And it's a programme about people watching telly. You watch them watching, not you, but watching some programme. It may be the Morecambe and Wise show, which we surely should have at Christmas, which will make us laugh. Maybe it's something really scary, like Doctor Who, which I think is on New Year's Eve, and there'll be Daleks and Cyberman, and we hide behind the sofa. <laughs> Maybe it'll be something sad, and there might be some tears. Maybe it's something like Question Time, which makes you angry. But if you watch Google Box, there are all these people on it, even including Kate Botley. Oh, yes. Famous vicar, mm. um, who's um, now a celebrity almost in the right because she's watched telly, for goodness sake. Can you believe it? And uh, she's in this Christmas booklet, um, Comfort and Joy, which Lindsay's distributed round Beeston. I'm distributed round, round with her. And amazingly, next Monday, which is Lindsay's birthday. And, and, and Razine, who will be 90. Happy birthday, Razine. Yeah, so on the reverse that, Lindsay should be nine, shouldn't she? <laughs> um, anyway, Kate Botley is doing the reflection in this little booklet on the um, 28th of December, next Monday. And this little booklet, incidentally, is called Comfort and Joy from that great carol, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. And this is, I'll come to that very briefly in a moment. But, um, yeah, so Google Box is people gathered around the telly it might be a little telly like your computer screen today, or it might be an enormous thing on the wall, perhaps sort of 10 feet wide. But however it is, it's this glowing box in, the, in your room, and you'll gather around it. And you, it may be a family or maybe a small gathering, maybe it's just you tonight on this particular night in the midst of coronavirus. And we all gather around this box and perhaps a hundred years ago or more that we gathered around the fire to keep warm for comfort and maybe a bit of joy. But let's go back a couple of thousand years, which is why we're here this night, 2,000 years or so later, to remember the birth of Jesus. I'm going to talk about birthdays next Monday. Today, the 24th, almost the 25th December, is of course the birth of Christ, which gives us our calendar and our years. But there are shepherds in Luke's Gospel, we've heard tonight from John, but uh, Luke tells of shepherds abiding or gathering in the fields, watching their flocks at night, 
And they were surprised, terrified, some versions of scripture say, by this band of angels. It may have been a few, it may have been millions, we don't know. But they were told to go to Bethlehem to see Christ, the infant king born in their midst. And so off they went. And there they found Mary and Joseph, maybe animals, in our churches, perhaps in your little crib at home, you might have an ox and ass and maybe a few sheep. But we're not absolutely sure about them, but there they were with these animals and this manger. Extraordinary when you think about it. Manger, the French word, the verb to eat. Manger is a feeding trough, which was for the animals. That's where we get the animals from. And that's where Jesus was placed. And all that time ago, they were gathered around this manger. So on this most holy night, throughout the world, people gather round, not the telly, not goggle box, they gather round the manger. And it's an invitation from God to welcome him, born among us, Emmanuel, God with us. We're all invited to gather round, not the telly, but gather round the manger to receive the light of Christ into our lives. Well, with that, we're going to move straight to some prayers, I think. And you're going to lead us in and prayer. And I'm going to lead them. And then I'll shut up and you can have the Vicar of Beeston back again. <laughs> so as we pray tonight, we think especially of all who are suffering because of the coronavirus in our community, in our city, our country, and throughout the world. And so the response when I say, Holy God, is hear our prayer. In peace... Let us pray to the Lord. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all those who live in poverty. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, the angels sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all those whom we love. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, heaven is come to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who pass through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear yeah. our prayer. In this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear yeah. yeah. our prayer. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and the saints through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now Andrew is going to go to the... Um, um, we, <laughs> and Sean is going to turn round the laptop <coughs> so that you'll be able to see Andrew and the Advent wreath while I speak the words. We've been lighting the candles of the Advent wreath through the weeks of Advent and now we come to light all the candles. So hopefully it's now somewhere around midnight and today is Christmas Day in which we recall the hope we have in Christ. Today we light again the candles of hope, peace, joy and love. We speak of hope because God keeps his promises to us. We work for peace 
because Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he calls his children to work for peace in his name. We share joy because the Holy Spirit fills our hearts and minds with the presence of God. And we show love because Jesus came to show us how much God loves us and all the world. Now we light our last candle to remember the birth of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. As the prophets promised so long ago, you have come to us once again. And with the shepherds, we are filled with wonder and amazement. Lord, you come as a tiny, fragile baby, yet we know that you are God and you are with us. May the flame of this candle remind us that you are the light of the world and that if we follow you, we will never walk in darkness, but will have the true light of life. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. So if Andrew returns and Sean will move the laptop. We come now to the peace. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. And then let us sing our next carol this evening. It came upon the midnight clear.
Word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation, you embraced our poverty. By your spirit, may we share in your riches. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit, His spirit is, is with, us. with us. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them, them to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give, give thanks, thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks because by the power of the Holy Spirit he took our nature upon him and was born of the Virgin Mary, his mother, that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Amen. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and for ever. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we, we are, are many, many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. We sing Silent Night.
Let us pray. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds. Through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Together, almighty God, we thank Amen. you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Our final carol this evening, O come all ye faithful,
We've almost come to the end of our service. There's the final response, and then we we're going to wish you happy Christmas. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. So let's say together, Happy Christmas, everyone! So wherever you are and whatever you're doing this Christmas time, may you have a time of joy and peace in Christ. Good to have you with us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.